My name is Higgs and this is my friend Bo Zahn. Welcome to the Higgs world. Thanks for the introduction Higgs. In this presentation, our goal is to offer you a quick summary of the research and conclusions. We follow inquiry-based learning model where students take lead in learning. First, they get a quick review of the research via the videos. Second, they review the paper to learn and understand key concepts. Finally, they can follow up with further research on their own to dig deeper. In the end students would have learned something new, latest and relevant. Isn't that wonderful boson? Great point Higgs. Please follow the links to review the research in further details. We want to thank all the authors and publishers for making this research public, thereby advancing science and innovation. Please like, share and subscribe. Today, we are reviewing a paper titled, Growth and Feeding Ecology of Coniform Conodonts. Conodonts are marine, eel-like jawless vertebrates occurring in marine ecosystems from the Cambrian to the Late Triassic. Conodont's oropharyngeal cavity contained an array of phosphatic dental tools known as elements. Conodonts provide a great resource to identify general functional principles of the evolution of dental tools at the biomechanical, morphological and histological level. That is wonderful information Higgs. In this study, the researchers focus on two coniform conodont species, the early Proconodontus mulleri miller, 1969, Proconodontidae, late Cambrian to Ordovician, and the more derived species Pandorotus equicostatus ethington, 1959, Pandorodontidae, which was widespread in Ordovician to Devonian oceans. Both species represent increased specialization of conodont apparatus during conodont evolution. The researchers test. 1. If both conodont species processed hard food by analyzing whether their feeding behavior is manifest in damaged dental tissues. And, 2. If both species shifted their trophic niche towards higher trophic levels during ontogeny, undergoing chemical and morphological changes in their crown tissues. That is so intriguing boson. The researchers employed backscatter electron imaging, energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy and synchrotron radiation X-ray tomographic microscopy, to identify growth increments, wear and damage surfaces, and the strontium-calcium ratio in bioappetite as a proxy for the trophic position. Using these data, they were able to identify whether they exhibit determinate or indeterminate growth and whether both species followed linear or allometric growth dynamics. The findings show that periodic growth was present in early conodonts and preceded tissue repair in response to wear and damage. The researchers found no microwear in the strontium-calcium ratio, and therefore the trophic position, did not change substantially during the lifetimes of either individual. The study suggests that trophic ecology of coniform conodonts in early Paleozoic ecosystems differed from that of predators or scavengers. Great point boson. The results suggest also that conodonts underwent an evolution of their life histories towards a top-down control consistent with the appearance of large predators by the Silurian period. That was an interesting paper providing overview of a evolution of coniform conodonts. Hope you liked it. Please follow the links to review the research in further details. Please like, share and subscribe.